Beds in our area quickly filling up with COVID patients, overwhelming medical staff, and ultimately, they're having to turn away some patients. Madeline Watkins joining us live tonight. And Madeline, you spoke with local medical experts to learn exactly how they're dealing with this. What are you finding out tonight? Jeff, brand new information and data just came out today reporting that one in every three people that are in Northwest Ohio ICU beds are there being treated for COVID-19. But I'm learning that's not the only factor that's overwhelming our medical staff. Right now we have some of the highest number of admits and ICU bed use than we've had, you know, even when we had that spike of, you know, a, a month or two ago. Dr. Brian Kaminsky with ProMedica is calling this a serious situation. About one in every six patients in the hospital have COVID-19, and a majority of the people walking through emergency room doors are also COVID patients. Many of them are released to recover at home. Some of them are receiving other treatments like monoclonal antibodies, and those uh, take uh, time and resources. And the president of Wood County Hospital, Dr. Stan Korducki, says their beds are quickly filling up too. A solution they have to sometimes incorporate is putting the hospital on bypass, meaning the emergency room is full. What will happen is temporarily we all may be on bypass for two hours or four hours or, or you know, a day, but eventually patients go home and then, and then you, you kind of get that release. So why are these emergency rooms filling up so quickly? Dr. Kaminsky tells me because of a hospital staffing shortage and patients with only minor symptoms of COVID-19 are taking up space in the ER. Instead, he recommends going someplace else if it's not urgent. Your primary care physician's office, urgent care, retail care uh, are all good options when seeking care for those more mild uh, conditions, including COVID. Another solution hospitals have used in the past to free up beds is to cancel non-elective surgeries. But Dr. Kordaki says we're not at that point yet. But it really isn't the answer, and it certainly doesn't help um, patients that um, have things that really need to get done fairly soon. And the experts today tell me that between the holidays and flu season officially here, that's going to bring added stress into the hospital systems. Live in East Toledo, Madeline Watkins, WTOL 11.